Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to sit here today and I want to just talk with you for a little bit. Um, there are some things that I uh, failed to leave out. Well, I left out. I ain't going to say failed to leave out. After further thinking about the situation with how the Department of Justice, the U.S. Department of Justice is not going to do anything in regards to what happened to Shane Fuller Robbins. And um, honestly, man, this is hurtful. And this is a slap in the face for black America. And it's also a reality check. And I want you guys to hear me very, very closely. I always talk about on my channel about, you know, nobody will care about us until we start caring about ourselves or show that we care about what we're talking about. We want justice and all this stuff and we want things to be right. We have to start living righteous, a more civilized life. Guys, listen, <clears throat> I want to go down the line on a few things that I'm thinking about. And, you know, I don't get caught up in black or white, but this right here is as plain as day. The first thing I want to talk about is this. Let's look at the facts. You got a recorded fatal assault. You have someone that's victimizing someone and you have the victim. The crime is recorded. It's no way you can't sit there and say, oh, we can't do anything when two Americans are fighting, whether it's on the soil or not, when they have to come back over here and it's broadcast all over television. And you can sit up here and talk about this Mexico, what happened in Mexico and all this stuff, because you notice they didn't really say that, but that's what they're telling you. They want to wash their hands from, with this. Let's get real deep here and let's get let, let's let's talk about the elephant in the room. Right. The government looks at it because, you know, politicians talk like I'm in the midst of watching Boardwalk Empire. And it's a lot of politics in this where you got senators and people vying for votes and stuff like that. They sit around each other. A lot of these people that are sitting up here that you see in these uh, debates and all stuff, it's fictitious. They all know each other already. Remember, America is a corporation. It's a business. These are businessmen. Always remember that. So a lot of the stuff is smoke and mirrors. Most of it is. And I'm going to give you some proof about that, too, in a second. Just thinking about it. And I'm just I'm not trying to cause no controversy or get a rise out of you. I'm trying to wake us up as folk and not just black folk. Everybody, because everybody's caught up in this, whether they realize it or not. Now, check this out. It was a recording. A recorded fight, right? And we look at the facts. It's on record. Now watch this. Tyree Nichols was a recorded uh, assault, right? And you know I covered Tyree Nichols seriously. See, this is the thing where we got to get our minds in tune. Because it was done by police officers, those who are supposed to what? Uphold the law that keeps citizens in order that story is bigger than this even with the way the media did it see we're so taught to think a certain way and move in a certain way with our thinking of what we see but you've got to be more free thinking than that it's the same shit blacks beating up blacks right some of us seen it blacks beating up blacks whether they in the uniform or not but because they was representing a higher power they threw them in jail. This situation here is the same damn thing, but they can't get the publicity off of er locking this girl up and these other people. It's not a major story. It's a major story because it was a broadcast and the horror of it, but it's not the same. They have to act on something with police officers, but this shit right here, they look at it as situational base. Blacks fighting blacks. Situational. It's also uh, 
kind of textbook in how they did that. What are they known for? Black people fighting each other. They fight each other all the time. I can see them in the room now with their cognac and cigars, whatever the hell it is. Oh, what are we going to do about this? Shinkiller? What's the name? Robinson thing. What are we going to do about this? Uh, it's just blacks fighting blacks. What, what, what? That's, send it to the DOJ. Eh, you got anything over there? Can you do anything about this? Uh, technically, I mean, how can we get out of this without spending any money? Ah, uh, well, just drag it. Act like we're doing something. Keep passing the buck back and forth. See the BS? Hey, we, they're working on it. You can't get in touch with certain people in the DOJ to get an update. So they pass you around. And all you can do is wait. Ah, time's up. Sorry, we couldn't help you. You get this at job interviews. You get this at all kind of stuff. People that are in power know other people in power, and they will dance around behind the wall while you're standing out there wait, waiting patiently in the waiting room for uh, some type of decision. It's no damn way they got off that plane. Think about that, too. They came back. Got off the plane. Soon as that was recorded, they should have been snatched up in question. At least. Hey, what happened over there? You are Americans. That happened in Mexico, but one American didn't come back. What a life don't count. What happened? We got to question you. They let this thing die down. And then wanted to act on it. It's no damn way, guys. Think about this. It's no damn way that a mother of a woman who had to witness her child's death, not, not the actual death, but what caused it, mercifully, mercifully, uh, mercilessly beat with somebody saying, okay, go ahead with the hammer, and then they look and fight. If you've seen that video, right, the one part, ain't you going to fight back? Shanquilla said no. She was standing there getting pummeled. I know them blows was hurting, but she was kind of hung over. Supposedly. That girl beat her while she was naked. That is embarrassing. That in itself shows the weakness and, and lack of respect we got for each other. And for men to be sitting there, and I always say this, for men to be sitting there, whether they acted like they was gay or they was gay, or who gives a shit? For men to sit there. It's something internal inside you that has some type of order in it. For them to sit there and listen, you beat her up with naked with men in the room. That right there is disrespect. These be the same people. We don't do nothing. We don't, nobody protects black women. Y'all didn't either. In fact, you exposed her. Her mother and father had to see her beat naked. It's no way if that was my sister or some kin to me, I would allow this to happen. It's no way. It's no way. Think about that, guys. Think about that. She waited till she was vulnerable and then won an attack. I think they beat her when she was in, in the bed. Because you know how it is when, when you deal with animals or the juggernaut. You see, she had the jiffy pop on. That was a telltale sign that this motherfucker is out of control. If you want to record something on, 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 on thing, you doing what? Trying to record your performance, who you recording the thing for. Just like with... uh. Uh, Demetrius Haley, what you take them pictures for, Tyree Nichols. You see the game? You see the way we do each other? You took them pictures to show off because you had a story to tell. And what you do, you in paradise making trouble and want to come back with a story to tell. I beat that bitch. Look what I did. Shameful. Shameful act. Y'all was over there in paradise while I make trouble. Then you come back like nothing's wrong. Then argue with the doctor. Oh, she's okay. I, uh, uh. Wasted valuable time. Why? Why? In a lot of situations, I'm going to say certain, certain situations, because it was weird to me that they brought up the extradition and how much it would cost. I'm like, why would you bring that shit up? And you grab people 
that run across the border, don't even get 10 feet in the country. You grab them, house them for six months, and then send them back over there because you say it's the issue of paperwork. You're making money off of these uh, illegals and stuff like that, which is wrong. You can't grab these motherfuckers right here, six idiots, question them the right way, and then do the same for them when people just want a, a chance at life that sneak over a damn fence or walk through a damn section of land for a better opportunity. You can do that to them, but you can't do that to these folks when you got them dead to rights. <clears throat> and if you look at the Cabo Six, them dudes weak. <laughs> Guys, we know them dudes weak. You could look at them and tell they weak. What they did show they was weak. They're crack under enough pressure. Man, it's like under certain situations, black lives are not worth government money. And that's why I brought that whole situation up. They're not, we're not worth the money. If they can't make no money off you, because if they grabbed them, they would have had to go to Mexico. So they ain't get no money out of it. They had to spend all the money they claim cost ten thousand dollars a person or something like that for uh extradition. So that's six. They'd have lost sixty thousand dollars, and Mexico could have took them over there and had them, but they didn't want to deal with it. And I'm telling you, that's what went behind closed doors. This is a move that was made by higher ups. Higher ups was involved in this, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, feel me on this. Just feel what I'm saying. If you disagree, put it in the comments. But if you agree, put put that in the comments too. I mean, I respect everybody's opinion. Listen, like I said, higher ups were involved, right? Besides the White House press press secretary and uh, Kamala Harris. They the closest people in the White House that look like you and I, right? Kamala is the one everybody celebrated. She's the first black woman. She's the blackest woman. She's only half black. A lot of people don't know. They think she's always black. She's not. I think her mother's Indian. Her father's black. If you look at Kamala Harris and look at her husband. A wife is a part of a husband's legacy. You think she's going to fight for you? Think about it. Look, is she going to fight for you? I'm not saying because the, white, the guy is white that he's a bad guy. But I'm just telling you, you're a wife. You're in the White House. He does what he does. How you look defending people fighting on TV. And looking like the worst of us and explaining that to him. You know, motherfuckers care about how they, they look, their legacy. You got to be careful. It's a slippery slope when you're talking about blacks on blacks fighting. See, that's why it was so easy for her to go get Brittany Grinder. She's an accredited athlete. They did that hostage negotiation shit and brought her back here. And she willfully made an error in the Russian airport thinking that the way it is over it, here is the way it is over there. And she got locked up. Now, am I not saying, am I saying she should have went to jail or stuff? No. Or she should have stayed over there? No. But it's just funny how you work that shit out. But this right here, you didn't, all you had to do was breathe and something could have got done. And I'm not saying she has all the power, but as a black representative, and it, this should have shook you, the black part of you, like it did us. Black people in America, we are very, I don't even know if people know this, our music and our black television shows now, which are real prominent, shape who we are. You don't believe me? Look at how black people acted before gangster rap came out. And look at them now. Look at how black women act now after love and hip hop became popular and how they are now. Think about that. Before love and hip, that's one of the worst shows ever.
for us as a people because it gave us this dynamic of you can have it all and act when you have it all you got to act a certain way and it all it's all fictitious shit we got old women now running around here like they trying to be like they in their 20s think about it we watch this so do the rest of the united states they see the statistics We've been experimenting on a long time, the war on drugs. Uh, Tuskegee uh, experiment back in the day, among other things. But we've also been given opportunities that we didn't take advantage of. I can't see how you have women of color in the White House and nobody could come up with some collective. They all didn't talk about themselves. Hey, this is a serious thing. You know, politicians talk. Hey, what do you think we can do to get this out? Is there any outlets or anything? Or commonly you making speeches about abortion and all this other stuff. You could have said something. You know, just mentioning the name of St. Quilla Robinson could have moved mountains. In the black community, if Kamala Harris had said anything, but nobody said anything about it. Think about it. Nobody said anything about it. This is what I think we need to do. Well, I mean, I, I would do it anyway. But uh, black folk, I think the situation with Mexico, I don't think they're going to do anything. Because the U.S. dropped it. They're going to drop it. I'm going to tell you why they're going to drop it. They can't come into the United States and snatch them even if they want them. They said they had an arrest warrant or something, right? If the person ain't over there now, they ain't gonna, never going to go. Too much politics. Remember, the government money. They ain't going to spend money to grab them, do all this other stuff. I'm sure taxpayers would mind getting some killers off the street. I would stop going to Mexico. Spring break, I'm gonna stop giving them the money because they show just as much as the uh, what's the name? Hey, if y'all don't care, we don't care. So I'd stop funding their G, uh, gross uh, domestic product, their GDP, their capital GDP. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put no money in their economy for what? They don't care about us because we don't care about us or we act as though we don't. In closing, guys, I'm gonna say this to you. Last month, they had a rally for St. Quilla Robinson in uh, Charlotte. Now, a lot of people were touched and a lot of people were upset about that, right? Look how many people are in this picture. That's how many people came to the march. Think about that. What's that, two? 100 people, 150 people? One police car. Now those probably are friends and family, distant relatives. We are all family. It should that street should have been packed. Community should have came out and pressed that. I'm sure they did it on the Saturday. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't support each other enough. If Shanquilla Robinson was Kamala Harris's relative, or Joe Biden or any other politician's relative, if it was if she was related to them, take the black off of it and other and change the color. White people beat a white person up. Shanquilla was right, and Desiree Washington. All, I mean, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Beat him up. Check it out. What you think them politicians be talking about behind closed door? These animals got to be brought to justice. We're going to do the ex ex same extent. We're going to give them the full extent of the law. Also, it would have been sewn up. And that's the real. That's why you need to pay attention. Things don't affect us until it affects us personally. If this was one of these politicians, any of them, 
this would have been open and shut. They would have sealed it quick because of the embarrassment, the public embarrassment to the to the uh, political figure. Nobody will care about us until we start to care about ourselves. It's real. More people should have been out there. And that's real. Guys, I'm stock market Steve, but I just wanted to say this. I mean, it was on my mind. And uh, I usually uh, take it where people can't sample this, but if you could, get this out, man. You know, put this video on Facebook and all that stuff. I'm not tech savvy, but um, let's get this message out. We got to start doing and caring about ourselves and showing that we are more than just drug dealers, idiots in the street acting stupid, and people that are... uh unintelligent and we do matter see you guys in the next video